Now we're cooking with power tools. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We ask you to ask us questions on Facebook and Twitter, and you did. Bryce Walburn asks, I want to build a cabin in the woods. Where should I start? Don't say in the woods. Okay, Bryce, well, first of all, you're gonna need to start in the woods. Yes. Uh, second of all, you're gonna need power tools. And remember that building a cabin in the woods will build up quite an appetite, which got us to thinking, can you cook an entire meal with power tools? Hmm, good question. So it's time to find out, can two fools cook with power tools? Kebab edition. All right, welcome to the Mythical Workshop where everyone is always Properly dressed yes. with protective gear. I'm not sure what the extra denim square is on your chest. I'm this, not going to ask any questions. This is my about woodworking it. shirt and my kebab making shirt. And it's got an extra layer of denim to. What is it to, protecting? To protect my layer of denim underneath it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I understand. Okay, so we're going to be cooking kebabs. That is a great thing to cook with power tools. At least uh, in We've our, been first, told. our first attempt at it is what we're going to do. <laughs> and of course, we're going to start with the veggies. Mm -hmm. This is a team job here, Link. If you'll take the onion, I'm gonna take one of the peppers. So I've got a chisel here. It's got a protector, which I'll, I'll lose that. Link will be handling sharp objects. We, it's just something we've come to accept. Okay, now, we I, don't I, feel good about it. I'm gonna peel this onion with the chisel. And I'm just gonna take the top of this pepper out with a box cutter. Pop that out. Seeds are bad, you don't want that. Clean out a little of the rest of the innards there. I'm gonna go with red and green here. A chisel is a lot safer than a knife. I mean, <laughs> I think. You, you okay over there? The man so, is chiseling an onion. So there we that go. That is what's happening. Okay, as you. So I've got, look at that. There's plenty of kebabable pieces. That's great, Link. <laughs> you may be thinking to yourself, Hey, those aren't power tools. But we're about to get to the power tools. Well, there's one right here. I think it's obvious that okay. there is one now, there. Now, safety first. Uh, I'm gonna put this zucchini in here, but I'm gonna guide it with a piece of wood that is not my actual hand, because I value these hands. Now you may you may have noticed something. All of my zucchinis are flying that way. I, that's what I was trying to tell you. But, but you couldn't hear me. But no, I knew her the whole time. But we're gonna cook all of it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be safe. It's gonna be great. And you're just gonna wanna get. Whoop, you just wanna. It's gonna be safe. It's okay. gonna be great. I found a piece you just on put, the ground. Put the nice pieces there. I found another piece there, okay. and then we got lots of onion pieces. Um, oh look, I found a nice piece you missed over here. You're gonna cut the uh, the peppers as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Maybe I can... Uh... I might get a little bit of the wood with this one. I'm gonna probably just cut the stick with the pepper. I feel like that's the safest thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh! All right. Now, Link, why don't you separate the wood from the pepper? I'm not putting my hand under there. So, okay, is this typically how peppers are cut for kebabs? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> you want red pepper? I got a problem now. You know what, that's enough red pepper. Yeah, that's enough red pepper. Who so needs that much let's red pepper? Let's move on to this. We got Onion? onions, pepper. Just put that old pepper on there. You didn't chop the onion. Well. Th this is your idea of chopping the onion? That's the level of fidelity I was able to achieve. Let's move on to the meat. Okay, so um, we've got a, we got a slab of kebab meat here. Why don't you set it right there and I'll clamp it down. Yeah. Safety first. So that goes there. Just like give it a nice little pinch. There goes. I got this. <laughs> um, it's a reciprocating saw. So I'm just gonna create some kebabable chunks. Please, please be careful. <laughs> oh, well, got a little wood in it. A little meat, a little wood. 
Oh. There we There's go. There's a lot of sawdust in that. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little cro cross section there. <laughs> we'll get the wood off of it. We'll shake the wood off. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna unclamp the meat here. Uh, now, Link, I, I really do think put the safety on. So there's, there's we've eaten a lot of weird stuff on this show. Oh, that's a good chunk right there. Look at that. Yeah, you want to get the chunks down to a cookable piece. Okay. And this is untreated wood, uh, so there's no chemicals in it. <laughs> because we are going to eat a substantial amount of it. Okay, so just let me cross section this. I like how it shakes when you do that. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna load up our our skewer. And now you want to do a vegetable, meat, vegetable, meat system. Meat, right. meat, meat. Oh, meat, meat. I want meat every other thing. <laughs> it's like we're not even finishing sentences. <laughs> uh, we want to do a, a meat every other. Break, break that in half? Yeah. Didn't need a power tool for that, did we? <laughs> no, we didn't. We used our powerful hand tools. Okay, all right. Give me a second. Give me a second. This maybe, is the hardest thing. Maybe we so should far. just. You want to go? Okay, that's a little. Let's be real about this. This is really what you want. Another piece of meat. This is like weaving. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. This is a lot like weaving. Or knitting. Come on, man. Here we go. Okay. I mean, yeah. it, it's not really about the shapes as much as the colors, you know, from an artistic standpoint. Here's another greener, greeny one. Okay. This is looking really tasty. Look at that. Big piece of onion. Yeah. Right on there. Now, I personally would not have chosen such a large pepper or onion. <laughs> but you know, there's compromise involved in this relationship. It shows us, man. Okay. It shows us. So Link, why don't you hold that up? Because before we cook this, we're gonna marinate it. And I have a power sprayer. Just get that right in front of yourself there. I know you've got that protective, right there. Yeah, you got that protective thing. It was all, came out all over my face. Okay. <laughs> Can we get this thing to be louder? <laughs> okay, nice and marinated. There we go. Uh, yeah, you got it. That's why you got goggles on. You got it on me. Okay, and now uh, we got to cook this thing uh, with the most powerful uh, cooking device that we could find, which is basically a space heater. Fire it up, Link. There's the electricity. Here comes the gas. Is off. We started with a substantially larger kebab, but sometimes <laughs> sometimes that happens. You, the thing is, is, you don't want to experience or express any shame when this kind of thing happens. <laughs> when you got a long kebab that becomes a short kebab, you just act like you meant to do it. That's why you didn't see any any of my facial expression change. Because I was like, you know what? I meant to do that. Yeah, and uh, I think the kebab chose its own length. Yeah. You know? I think that's what happened. Yeah, don't be ashamed to get a short kebab. <laughs> 
What you? Why are you pointing at it? Because that's, that's yours. <laughs> that's yours, man. Okay. So it smells so good, uh, especially there's like a hickory smoke from that wood that was that Link put inside of the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that onion, that hammered you want the onion. That's a that's a, cr a hand crafted onion. I'll take some of the zucchini. Ooh, that's still that's still smoking. Take it. Mm. Now that's a powerful kebab. <laughs> good, good, good. By powerful, I mean, well, just made with power tools. Man, I got a lot of fat in that piece of meat. It's gonna take me a second. Don't feel shame. And <laughs> don't feel shame at this point either. Okay, I got it. All right, well, there you go, Bryce. Enjoy building your cabin in the woods. Okay, time for our next question. The Office of the Surgeon General and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention asks... They asked us the question? Yes, they did. Uh, the question they asked was, can you shed some light on the dangers of using e-cigarettes for young people? Of course we can. E-cigarettes can contain nicotine and other harmful chemicals, and because we love you mythical beasts, and because we don't want to see you make unhealthy choices that could threaten your well-being, we gladly accepted the Surgeon General's request that we sit down and teach you a little something about why young people shouldn't use e-cigarettes. Mm -hmm. In our own way, of course. It's time for Amazingly Amazing, Amazing, Amazing Science. Science! How does the nicotine in e-cigarettes affect your brain? Until about age 25, the brain is still growing, and each time you create a new memory or learn a new skill, you are building stronger connections or synapses between your brain cells. When nicotine is introduced into your system, it changes the way synapses are formed, which can harm the parts of your brain that control attention and learning. Think of it this way. Your brain is like a neighborhood baseball team, and your brain cells are like your teammates. With each ball thrown back and forth, your team gets stronger and stronger until one day, Nick, a new kid that just moved in down the street, decides to come hang out with the team after practice. Nick is a cool kid. He's got a braided rat tail, a permanent marker tattoo of a snake wrapped around an anchor that says, Snankor. And he never wears a sock on his right foot, just because. But Nick is bad, real bad, at playing baseball. He convinces some guys on the team that it's not cool to play baseball. So they all get rat tails and snake anchor tattoos and they stop throwing the ball all together. Soon enough, the whole team is bad, real bad, at baseball. And the right feet smell. They're so bad, in fact, that they're cut from the league. In need of an extracurricular activity, they decide to do the only thing a ragtag group of preteen boys can do. They start a boy band. They call themselves LMNOP, and they cut their first track, I Like Like You. I, I like, like Like You, baby. Shortly thereafter, pop music mogul Stu Ruby stumbles upon the single and likes what he hears. He like likes what he hears. Stu signs the lads to his record company and they make it big, real big. Soon, millions of kids have succumbed to the charms of LMNOP. They too have grown rat tails and have forgone the socks on their right feet. With sock purchases cut in half, the sock market crashes, causing panic and chaos across the globe. Civilization must rebuild itself from the ground up, and humanity is sent back into a dark age. And an ice age. A dark ice age. So the next time you're reaching for that e-cigarette, think about how cold and dark the world will be. And don't. This has been Amazingly Amazing Science! Now you know. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Susanna. And I'm Nathan. And this is a lollipop drill. <laughs> and we're from Dallas, Texas, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Thanks to the Office of the Surgeon General and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention for partnering with us on this episode. Get the facts about e-cigarettes and young people by visiting the link below and in the description. And click through to Good Mythical Marvel where we have a very special guest, the actual Surgeon General of the United States of America, Dr. Vivek Murthy. So Co click through for that. Collect all five. This is when we get you to get five things and post them. This is keep your eyes peeled and collect all five of Extra long curly fries. Can you get five of those and post them Ooh. on your social medias with hashtag collect all five? I think you can. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And make sure to check out our new channel, This Is Mythical, by clicking the video at the bottom. Thanks for being your mythical best.